Well, Jason, lots of talk about the, the goal scoring at the Central Bank over the last few games in particular at, at home. What do you think's changed about the mentality here that, that sees the freedom come from your team? I think it's a confidence thing. I mean, we've got a lot of young players and, you know, when things aren't going well, it's, it's tough and especially with a young group and at the minute we've started to put the ball in the back of the net, which is great and, and the lads are sort of thriving, especially at home in the last few games, they've been knocking the ball in and, and you know, we had a few more chances the other night, which maybe we could have took advantage of. So we've just got to keep working and, uh, and keep building on things, but it's good to see the confidence come back and the ball starting to hit the back of the net again. How much are you having to use your experience and leadership with the young players during the game? I mean, the young lads that we brought in, I mean, they're brilliant. They've all got great attitudes and, and you know, want to work hard. So, I mean, it's fairly easy in that way. I mean, we've got a handful of experienced players that all always help the younger lads. And I think it's just leading by example. I mean, you've got Erds and, and Kian and Bozzy, um, you know, big John up front when he comes on. Um, and I think all them lads, you know, they go out there and they try and do the right things and, and, and lead by example. Uh, how important is it for you to look after yourself when you get to the last stage of the career, when you've got three games in a, a week? Yeah, it becomes a little bit more challenging um, when you get to my age. But to be honest, I mean, personally, I, I, I you know, touch wood, I, f I feel okay at the minute. So. Um, it's good to be involved and it's good still to be trying to play three games in a week and um, yeah, I, f I felt good Tuesday, a little bit stiff this morning but um, felt pretty good and, and like I say, you always feel a little bit better after a good win. And still enjoying your football just as much as you are? Yeah, 100%. I mean, every opportunity I get on the field at the minute I enjoy and especially like you say, nights like Tuesday when, you know, for the last few minutes it was a... Uh, it was very enjoyable when you're relaxing, sitting there at the back, just watching the lads uh, counter attack and put the ball in the back of the net. So yes, it's really enjoyable, and uh, you know, I, I, believe it or not, I'm still just as hungry as ever, and I still want to keep playing well um, for myself and for the team. And and like you say, you've got to embrace every game you play because um, you know injuries and that you never know when it's going to be sort of your last one. Uh, and contract up at the end of the season, are you hoping you can remain at Central Bank? Um, yeah, I think their discussions were sort of the end of the season. I think at the minute it's just focusing on, like I, like I said, trying to play as well as I can individually and, and and as well as I can to help the team and, and get as many wins as possible. Uh, now Harry Toffolo, lots of talk about potential departures and whether he'll stay, whether he'll stay. If he, if he does go, what do you think about him potentially making that move up to, to championship level? Do you think he's got the attributes to have a good career at that level? I do, yeah. I think he's been absolutely brilliant. Brilliant for the club. Um, you know, he's a good age. I think he's 24 now, um, and I, th I think he's. I think he's been outstanding. I think he's played really well. I think he can definitely make the step up. Um, I think he does have all the attributes. He's he's improved a lot as well over the last 18 months. He's worked hard um, physically and you know in the game. His positioning's improved on the ball. He's improved. And he, he's a real attacking threat, especially when he's in a good vein of form, which he has been. So. Um, I definitely think he can make the step up, and if he does leave us, it'll be it'll be a loss for us. But you know, thoroughly deserved uh, from an individual point of view to to make that step up and, and prove he can do it in the championship. Lovely, thank you. Um, Jason, you had that long break without a game, sort of before Christmas, and you came back for that Burton game, and the form since then has been really outstanding. Did that break come at a good time? What's been sort of the key over the last couple of months? Do you think? Yeah, I think that break did come at a good time. Um, I don't think we was playing bad before. It's no. been a couple of good performances, other than Gillingham. Um, you know, both Ipswich in the cup. I think we was maybe a little bit unfortunate not to win both games. Um, again, it was just putting the ball in the back of the net. But we had the break. I think the manager enjoyed that, getting us on the training pitch again, trying to get some more messages across that how he wants to do things. And uh, and then we really hit the ground running at Burton. I thought we was, we was really good at Burton and. Um, and that sort of springboarded a nice run for us and some good performances and some good results to go along with those performances. Obviously a lot of talk about the goals and the attacking side of things recently. Are you, how, are you happy with the way that you've defended as a team in recent weeks? Um, you know, I've only been back for a, a couple of the games and, 
you know, Sunderland wasn't a good game, wasn't happy with how we defended. There was a, there was a mad 15 minutes. Um, but, you know, it still bothers us all when we do make mistakes. Um, and, and we work hard on the training pitch to try and put those right. Um, in the last couple of games, yeah, we, we're fairly happy with how we've been uh, defensively solid, if not frustrated, maybe not to uh, not to have kept a clean sheet or two. To be honest, we've defended well and we're limited teams to chances. As when I was injured, I mean, I watched the uh, the Peterborough game. We we limited limited them to very little. Um, so I think it's just keep doing keep doing the right things and the clean sheets will come. Just like we keep doing the right things, keep trading chances and the goals are now coming. What was the key after that Sunderland game? Did you just try and have to put it out your mind as soon as possible? Yeah, look, I mean, mistakes happen. It's part part of football. Um, I mean, I changed my boots, so I thought really? that was going to help me. Yeah, <laughs> but, um, are you superstitious? Or is that it? A little bit superstitious, <laughs> yeah. But no, I mean, I think whenever you have a bad game or you make mistakes, all it is is working hard, getting back onto the training pitch as soon as possible, and keep doing all the things that you do, you know, ninety nine percent of the time. Um, and then, you know, we've gone another two games unbeaten and and hopefully we can continue that on Saturday. And how impressive have you been with Keane Bolger this season? Yeah, I think he's been great. I think he's been great. Um, you know what you're going to get from Keane, he's very good aerially. Um, he's a very good defender. And again, we need his experience now more than ever, especially with, um, you know, a lot of young players around. Um, I, think he's, I think he's done great. I think, I think the team's done great and I think some of our performances haven't always, we haven't quite got the results of our performances of warranted, but we have been of late and we need to make sure that continues. Yeah, thanks, Jason. Um, let's give you a chance. Talk us through that effort on Saturday. The one you all but scored with. Yeah, from it was, open it play. was a fantastic effort. <laughs> it was. No, it was, um, yeah, it just came quick and it was kind of stuck under my feet, but I just thought get it off and. Yeah, sometimes you just need that little bit of luck and unfortunately it wasn't quite to be under, underneath of the bar. And the keeper made a few good saves as well from a few of the lads. So again, we was probably a bit disappointed we didn't win the game on Saturday. But again, to go away from home and, and not lose, keep the points ticking over is always a positive. Yeah, and your vast experience, any tales about playing against Blackpool as it's Blackpool on Saturday? No, I don't think I have any major stories. Just, just another win would be nice. Thank you. Thanks, Jason. Thanks a lot, mate.